Okay, ladies and gents, welcome to my OE Cake tutorial where I show you how to how to make um smooth movies out of OE Cake scenes, which will bring your computer to its knees. Okay, and this will also apply to other programs. Not every game, most games this won't work on, but it works on games where time doesn't change or where time can change. Where time is dynamic, so you don't lose frames but you lose time, or time slow, goes slower. And OK is one of those programs. And now I'll quickly show you the scene that I prepared earlier. OK, so you make your scene, you save it, and then when you're ready to capture, this is what you do. First thing you have to do is you have to count how fast it goes. Now in this scene, there's about 330,000 um, Elastic, mochi, snow, brittle, string, and fuel particles and water. So about 330,000 goes really slow. And you have to count how many frames per second it actually runs at. So untick, pause, and count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, now I've established that this runs at no more than 5 frames per second. That's probably closer to 3, but the reason I use 5 is to be very safe, okay? Uh, once you've established what frame rate your um, contraption runs at, you've got to do your virtual dub settings, okay? Now the place you enter it is here, where you can enter a custom number. So you put 5 there. Now I'll put 5 because it's, it's higher than 3, it's a bit higher than 3 and it guarantees me that every single frame will get captured even if the thing starts running a bit smoother later on. So I enter 5 here which I won't do now because I'm capturing this video. You select full size um, and you tick no cursor. Now you tick no cursor because that'll interfere with this process. The only time you keep the cursor is if you're recording a real time video. And also you untick record sound, which I've got ticked now because that's how you're getting more voice. Okay, so once you've done that, your settings, you just record your thing. Uh, once you've finished recording, you'll have a OECake file wherever your record directory is. Okay, all you do is you simply drag and drop it into virtual dub. And you'll get this. Alright, for this part we go to File, Export, Image Sequence. Okay, now for the minimum number of digits, depends how long your film is, just put um, like 7, just to be safe. File name, you can name it anything. And uh, you can have it as a BMP. Um, all the rest are pretty much useless for what we're doing. So just keep it as a BMP. And that's it. Click OK. Um, after virtual, virtual dub's done, you'll have like, in this case, 7167 bitmap files. So there's a whole bunch of them. OK, and now we're off to the next step. Alright, now um, I didn't want to use any fancy video editing programs. So I just used something which I already had on my computer and knew would work, which is Tree Size Professional 5. Okay, so we fire up Tree Size Professional 5. And then um, we go to the File Search menu. Go to Search All Types. Oh, sorry, Duplicate Files only, Duplicates. Okay, you can close the other one. And you go to the Scan Options. I've already done this, so mine's in here, but basically what you do is you go to add a path and then make sure it's the only one ticked. And that path will of course be the path from uh, which contains your images, which you just made with virtual dub. Okay, then once that path's selected, go to back to duplicate files menu and it should be searching, which it is automatically. Now I'll come back when this is done. Okay, and I forgot to mention before, 
before checking you have to select compare using MD5 checksum <coughs> otherwise yeah it's not gonna you're not gonna get anything now um, after you've searched for your folder for your duplicate files hit control A to select everything and then right click somewhere and tick check all but newest so control A to select everything right click check all but newest okay 